Blockto is an account abstraction wallet that facilitates the generation of a public key, the safekeeping of a user's private key, and the establishment of a connection to decentralized applications, or in short dApps. Creating a MetaMask wallet on Ethereum and opening a CEX account. Going through KYC and trading fiat for Ethereum can be a major hassle for newcomers to the Web3 world. A thorough familiarity with wallets is crucial for realizing the full potential of Web3. Externally owned account, or insured EOA wallets are based on the traditional concept of transactions using private keys and user accounts, while cold wallets are offline storage systems that remain offline. MetaMask is a lightweight wallet that facilitates the creation of public addresses and private keys, secure key storage on a mobile device and the use of decentralized applications, in short dApps. It is also known as a multi-party computation wallet, MPC. However, new users may struggle with the EOA wallet's confusing onboarding process. Since MPC wallets address many of the problems that have plagued conventional wallets, their popularity has risen. Lower transaction and recovery costs, chain independence, and the absence of a single point of failure are just a few of the benefits. The lack of a seed phrase, reduced transaction and recovery costs, and chain independence are all drawbacks. Due to the inherent nature of EOAs with shared keys, MPC wallets are functionally limited. A multi-party computation wallet has problems with off-chain accountability, incompatibility, and lack of transparency. Recently, smart contract or SC wallets have become popular due to their improved usability and adaptability. While a key pair is required to manage an EOA, code on the blockchain can manage a CA without the need for a key pair. By allowing for programmable tasks like automatic transactions, batch transactions, auto-staking, and more, SC wallets provide more versatility than EOAs and pave the way for a wide range of practical uses. As the trends in smart contract wallets, account abstraction, and ERC-4337 develop, Blockdo has the opportunity to emerge as a leading wallet. It has grown to support Ethereum, BNB, Polygon, AVAX, SOL, Arbitrum, and Optimism, and is currently the most popular wallet on the Flow chain and among the top three on Aptus. Since 2019, it has served as an account abstraction wallet thanks to its creators' track records as entrepreneurs and the support of well-known financial backers. It has advanced capabilities like gas subsidies from dApps, social wallet recovery, batch transactions, and multi-signature support. Blockto is a Web 3.0 wallet app with a sleek look, simple controls, and a pleasant experience for its users. Swaps, an NFT marketplace, and gaming are just some of the many features it integrates and has offered since its 2019 debut. The main benefit for Blockto is that it only needs to make its current service compatible with ERC-4337, which is expected to be rolled out soon, while competitors work on their first ERC-4337 solution. Metatransaction, a mixed custodial model for key management, and SDK tools are all part of Blockto's technology stack. Blockto uses a hybrid approach that combines custodial and non-custodial measures. To enhance compatibility between devices, they provide a number of wallet SDKs. They have over 1.6 million users, have closed their series of funding round, have partnered with Yahoo, Animoca Brands, MotoGP Ignition, Line Friends, are the most popular wallet on Flow, rank in the top three on Aptus, and have developed BLT tokenomics. While staking may be the primary use of BLT at this time, Blockdo's team is hard at work creating new and exciting applications for the cryptocurrency. Leading this charge are Suen and Edwin, who are both seasoned entrepreneurs with a deep well of experience and knowledge. With their combined expertise, Blockto is well positioned to become a major player in the cryptocurrency market, with unlimited potential for growth and success. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Do you feel that Blockto is getting enough attention? And what do you see as the future for the platform? Please leave a comment and let me know your perspective. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.
Thanks for watching, until the next time.